the work of the Teachers Leadership Institute, I think, helps professionalize teaching and helps us share the expertise and knowledge that exists in classrooms already. Good teachers are doing research in their classroom all the time, but what we're not doing is documenting it. My action research was looking at um, how our portfolio assessment system impacted African American and Latino students, um, how it impacted their confidence, their engagement, and their academic achievement. I surveyed and interviewed all the fifth graders, and then I chose four focus students, and I did in-depth interviews with them over the course of the year that they were preparing their fifth grade portfolios, and also um, analyzed their student, their work, their portfolios, and their portfolio presentations. And I found that um, there were a number of things about the portfolio assessment process, which is really a, a series of performance assessments, that impacted them in a number of different ways. Uh, one big thing was, was around transparency, that because the learning outcomes were very, very clear to them and emphasized, they really knew what good work was supposed to look like. They'd seen models of it, they had rubrics, which they, teachers used instructionally, so they were very comfortable with. They really knew exactly how to improve their work. And they talked about that, that, that being a pathway to success. They also um, did a lot of revision because all their work had to be at standard for them to pass to sixth grade. And you know, there's a lot of brain research which talks about where learning happens, and it happens in the process of revision. It happens when we're correcting our own mistakes, and students had multiple opportunities to do that, and we're able to reflect on that process. There was one student who was really resistant to revision, to revising her work. So when her teacher would hand back her response to literature and say, you know, your, your paragraphs are well formed, but you're not, your analysis of the characters and your, um, and you're not, isn't deep enough and you're not giving enough evidence for your statements, she would say, oh, and so you need to redo it. You know, it's not meeting standard. The student would say, okay, and she would put it back into her writing folder and pull out another one and turn, and they had to reflect themselves and self-score. She would do that and then turn that one in. And the teacher would say, yeah, this one doesn't meet standard either. You need to revise it. And she, for several weeks, for several weeks, she went through this process of just looking for other work. Well, I'll do something new. I'll do something different. Um, and then she, you know, we finally cornered her and made her <laughs> revise it. And one of her quotes in the end, when I was asking her about it, I was like, what do you think about revision now? One of what she said was, when I revised that piece for the fourth time, I understood how I could make all my writing better. So that was um, really powerful that, and spoke to me about, about the power of, of pushing and supporting students to make sure that all of their, that, they're, that they can demonstrate that they're meeting the essential standards for whatever grade level. Students stood in front of a panel of peers, family members, teachers, and adults from the community and defended their work. They, they chose, they selected some of the essential learning outcomes, but then showed work that they had done and, and responded to questions to prove that um, their work met the learning outcomes, that they were ready for the next level. The public accountability is for everyone. The students have to stand up there and prove that they've done the work, but that's very public for teachers. We, we set out these essential learning outcomes. Did we support students to meet them? Um, and it's public for families too, you know, because we're a team working together. Did we get our students to where we promised we would get them? One student compared the, uh, the portfolio assessment to the standardized test. And he said, when I take the standardized test, I'm scared. Because if I, I might know something, but I might choose the wrong answer. And then people will think I don't know it. But when I'm doing my portfolio, it's my real work that I've done all year. So, I can stand, so I'm not scared, because I, I know what's there. I know I've done it. I really believe that um, the district and state need to support performance assessment and authentic assessments. Um, and they need to support it with time and resources. I believe they need to be local, that school communities with families and teachers need to decide together what, what's essential, what they need, what they believe students should be able to know and do when they graduate. Teachers need professional development time at schools. Um, to be able to do that work. There was no way that this work could, could have happened if we didn't have resources to free up teachers to collaborate and spend time together.